body speaks as an authority, that means speaks as the author. That's all it means. It's a statement for which you, of which you are the author, and therefore for which you assume responsibility. That is to speak with authority. And to be original is likewise not to be freaky, but to speak from the origin. That is what Christians mean when they say to speak in the spirit, to have your mouth possessed by the Holy Spirit, as they believe the mouth of Jesus was possessed by the Holy Spirit. So the gospel of Jesus, which of course was hushed up from its inception, was that wake up everybody and find out who you are. Because I said, I am a son of God. So, son of, in Hebrew and in Arabic, means of the nature of. And so, if you call someone a son of God, you mean divine. Of the nature of God. As the Nicene Creed subsequently defined it, he is of one substance with the Father. So, be not anxious for the morrow. Do not worry about what you shall eat, what you shall drink, and what you shall wear. What are you worrying about? Take up your cross and follow him. But why talk about this? Is it interesting? Is it important? For the human being to realize that in some sense of the word, whatever it means, he is God or one with God as is plainly taught by the Hindus, hinted at by the Buddhists, only they don't like to put it out as a concept, in case people will use the concept as an idol to hang on to. They want you to find out for yourself and not believe in it. Well, the importance of it is this, that to know that you are God is another way of saying that you feel completely with this universe. You feel profoundly rooted in it and connected with it. You feel, in other words, that the whole energy which expresses itself in the galaxies is intimate. It is not something to which you are a stranger, but it is that with which you, whatever that is, are intimately bound up. That in your seeing, your hearing, your talking, your thinking, your moving, you express that which it is which moves the sun and other stars.